I've been using Focusrite products now for, embarrassingly, about 20 years. I think, you know, the build quality is fantastic. Sonically, I love it, and it's almost become part of my sound, I suppose. So I made a, a record called Awake Barbarians for Domino, and an, and an EP before that called Naeem from the Halfway Line. And both of those were recorded using the, the Focusrite 18i8 um, exclusively, really. I didn't want to make something that people would hear as lo-fi or demo-y, and I didn't find that there was any issue with that. I found I, I could, you know, I recorded essentially myself being the whole band on, on a certain track, like without a crutch, and then sent it to the label. And knowing how I'd done it myself, I expected them to say, Oh, that's good. Let's see if you go in with a band, how it sounds. But they, they actually sort of thought it was with a band already. So that made me think, you know, I had the confidence that I was recording things well enough, um, capturing the sound well enough. Let me hear them all, the stories of your life, right from the start. Just give me your heart. Let me walk the roads, all the mountains you have climbed Stretch out my head, reach for your stars Because we made time stand still, we had the chance to make it happen Because we grow and we hold in our be forever so don't you look back saying my end will make it happen and we Yeah, when, you, when you're choosing a piece of equipment to use in, your, in, your, in the studio or in your home studio, first and foremost, it's the sound quality. You know, the, the design of the equipment is very uh, important, making sure the workflow is, is easy when using it. But that means nothing unless the, unless the quality of the, the A to D and the mic pre's are of a certain standard. And with the Scarlet range, you're absolutely guaranteed that. Uh, I play bass with uh, Take That, ELO, uh, Mike Stubbers, Steve Hackett, Rick Wakeman, etc. And, and for me, I need something to be sounding great straight off the bat without messing around because I'm not a very technical kind of person. So if I can plug into something and it sounds great straight away, I'll keep it and I'll keep hold of it. Uh, and Focus Right stuff always does that. Whenever I plug in, I'm always happy with the result straight away and then I can go about changing it if I need to. Uh, but that's why I always stick with Focus Right. I think the thing that exemplifies why I use Focusrite above all other interfaces is the fact the build quality is so high, uh, the preamps are second to none, the signal to noise ratio is absolutely perfect. And the fact that they're so compact, I think I mixed the whole prepared like a bride overcomer record just with a laptop and the 2i2, it was a perfect marriage.
compact, durable. I'd have no qualms in, in recommending the Scarlet Range to anybody. Robust and great sound quality. I think the great thing about the Scarlet Range is you've got everything from the 2i2 all the way up to the 8920 and everything in between to suit your needs. Fantastic mic preamps. The connectivity is flexible and you can configure it anywhere you need to to incorporate it into your existing setup and uh, improve the quality of your recording. So